Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Death Stranding. This time I'm going to show you how to complete order number one, Smart Drug Delivery. This is the very first order in the game. This is just the straight up intro of the game. And the first three or so missions that you have to do are very much introductory. So the guides are going to be mostly self-explanatory and a bit more of commentary style. Uh, so if you're in need of help, you could really just sort of follow along with what I'm doing on the screen. Um, the first uh, package of four that you can collect, you only need one, but you can get four for a higher rank and uh, more points at the end. Uh, the first case is just right in front of you when you spawn, but the other three cannot be uh, picked up until you uh, enter this cave and watch the really long intro cutscene with Fragile. So before you head out of the cave, you actually want to turn around and go back in and then pick up this lost cargo. And we're going to bring that to the same destination in uh, the city in the horizon over there. So we're going to get our next couple pieces of the smart drug cargo. Again, you only need one, but there are four possible uh, to pick up. You can kind of zoom down this mountain. However, in this guide, I'm going to show you what happens when you fall. Uh, I may actually lose cargo in this. Uh, this is about the third time that I've had to do this. Um, Originally, my plan was for these guides to be available in HDR, uh, you know, both 4K and HDR, but unfortunately, Adobe Premiere just will not play nice with this content uh, or with my capture or anything, and it just looks like garbage when I render it. So we're going to do plain old 4K for this game, and hopefully I'll figure out the HDR problem uh, by the next game that I cover. So we got case number three there, and now we're going to head to another piece of loose cargo. Uh, you want to follow this little ridge over here, and then you'll see a clearing that you can go up to near a, uh, a little pond. And in that pond, or just on the uh, shore of that pond, you're going to find a piece of lost cargo. So if you keep pressing R1 to use your scanner, you'll be able to see the terrain around you as well as ping any uh, lost cargo or anything that you can pick up. Um, if you ever come across minerals or uh, any non-deliverable cargo, you can recycle that and use it uh, in your uh, at your checkpoints. So just keep that in mind. The game doesn't exactly explain that to you uh, super clearly. So, we picked up our next piece of lost cargo, so now we're going to head towards the fourth and final piece of the mission cargo, which is the smart drugs. So what we want to do is we want to carefully, don't do what I'm about to do, you want to carefully walk down this waterfall. You're better off just going back the way you came, but uh, like I said, this is the third time I was doing this, so I was just trying to rush through it to get the footage. Uh, but, you know, me rushing, it it bit me, and that's what it does. And luckily, all my cargo just dropped off in one precise location that I was able to get back to easily. That is not always the case. Uh, sometimes it will fall and then just fall down further on the cliff, and you gotta, it's all scattered around. You gotta, you know, really work to get it back. All right, so the next piece of cargo is across this river. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross this side and then we're gonna try to get to a narrow part of the river and we're gonna scan to see where the river uh, gets really deep. Um, you wanna do your best to stay out of the yellow areas whenever possible, uh, but it's sort of like a no matter what situation, like you're always gonna have to go through it. So uh, yellow indicates that it's it's deeper and that the current is, is a little bit faster, so it's gonna uh, use more stamina when you go through the yellow sections. As you can see here, I'm already two bars drained and I've barely done anything. But as we get, you know, through the blue, your stamina drains a bit slower and then, uh, you know, you can just continue on. So we're gonna take a crypto biote or crypto biote or crypto bite. Uh, Leia Seydou, or Fragile, says it in the beginning of the game, but she has a French accent, so I'm not really sure how exactly it's pronounced in English. Um, but the way she said it made it sound like crypto biote. So, there you go. You can see this piece of cargo that we're headed towards over here. I'm gonna keep navigating these rocks and all the moss. Uh, just be careful, because whenever you're like near the river, uh, the terrain is always relatively flat, but it's very slippery. So Sam can slip on it uh, rather suddenly, and you won't always notice that it's going to happen. Um, so whenever you're just on these little rocks over here, just uh, take it a little bit slower, but it is a straight path, and it's almost always gonna be easier uh, than traversing any other terrain, so. Standing by rivers is usually a good idea. So here's the fourth and final smart drug case. Let's go ahead and pick that up. 
and we have four four and we can uh, make our way to the city to return them there is one more case that we're going to pick up one more piece of lost cargo and well you don't have to pick up all of the lost cargo it does increase your porter rating uh, the more items that you return and with a higher porter rating you get certain perks and you can also actually get things from the people you're dropping cargo off to uh, so basically the higher your connection or your star rating with that uh, person or place uh, the better rewards you're going to get so just keep that in mind so now that we have a really full case you're going to notice that sam starts to sway back and forth and you'll get a prompt to uh, shift your weight to the left or the right using L2 or R2. Um, whenever that happens, I recommend trying to slow down and then just doing whatever the prompt tells you. But sometimes, because of the terrain, you can sway back and forth and back and forth. What I suggest doing in that case, if you're getting tired of it, just, uh, just let go of the analog stick, uh, shift your weight in whatever direction it's telling you, and then hold L2 and R2 to like completely center yourself, and then you know start walking again. So... Yeah, we are. I think we're about to bang into this wall here and take some damage. Yep. No big deal, though. We're still going to get an S rank on this. Once you make it in, in here, hopefully in one piece, uh, you can go ahead and make your delivery. So we're going to return everything here, which is all the lost cargo, because this is where it's going. Um, and yeah, that, that's it. You're going to uh, meet a, a chirogram of Mama. And that's your first introduction to her. And that's the first mission. For the first order. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Death Stranding, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new videos go live. If you like this content a whole lot, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sue Johnny Gage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so. Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery.